How do you install Forest New Idols in Skyrim using Mod Organizer? That is the question I'm going to answer in this video. For those of you who do not know what Forest New Idols in Skyrim or Finis is, it is essentially a mod that allows other mod makers to create custom animations and apply them to certain circumstances. Uh, you can add things like dancing or perhaps you want to change the default animations for spell casting and you can even add things like flying. I actually did an entire Skyrim mod sanctuary devoted to this mod and several of the mods that use it and if you want to go and watch that I will leave a link right here. And as I showed in that video, one of the things that Forest New Idols in Skyrim is well known for is the fact that it is a little more complicated to install. It's not difficult, but there are quite a few more steps than a standard mod. And one of the very common questions I get asked on my Mod Organizer series is, how do you install this using Mod Organizer? And I actually have good news. Good news in two parts, actually. The first part is, it's actually possibly a little easier with Mod Organizer. It's definitely no more difficult, but in, in some ways, it's actually pretty easy. And the second piece of good news is, it's an awful lot easier to uninstall. It's really, really easy to uninstall and, you know, it, it removes one of the slightly annoying problems where if you did uninstall Finis, say, using Nexus Mod Manager, you might get an animation glitch and you had to go into the file structure yourself and fix it. With Mod Organizer, you don't have that problem. To show you how to install this mod, I'm going to use the files that come with Forest New Idols in Skyrim. I'm going to use the flying mod beta and Gangnam style dance animations. If you actually want to see those in action, once again, go along to the Skyrim mod sanctuary I did and you can see them in action there. So I'm going to download those files. So first of all, Forest New Idols in Skyrim. I'm going to take the main one. This is always necessary and hit download with manager. That has now started download with mod organizer, as you saw down below. I'm also going to take the add-on spells just for testing purposes. I'm going to take the flying mod, the latest version, and Gangnam style animations, and we'll let those download. Once they've downloaded, go along to the Downloads tab on Skyrim Mod Organizer and double click for the always necessary file. Now, when you open it, it will tell you that no game data on top level, it will give you that warning. Open it up, find the data folder, right click and set data directory. This is probably okay, Forest New Idols in Skyrim Finis. Click OK. And it will create the first mod. This, of course, we're going to need. So I'm going to activate that. If you double click and open it up, check the file tree, you will see meshes, scripts, and tools. These are the tools we're going to use to actually generate the animations. However, don't worry about that for now. Then I'm going to activate the spells add-on. Once again, I'm going to open it up until I find the data folder underneath Finis Spells. I'm going to set data directory, looks good. And I'm also going to change the title to Spells Add-on. You could have left the title as it was, however, it would have installed those files to the existing mod. I do not recommend doing that. This is one of those uh, mods that you're probably going to use whilst testing and then remove when you're not. Um, perhaps you have a profile set up for funny dancing, um, but in your general play, you probably have more serious animation packages. It's good to install all of these two separate mods, so you can choose depending on the profile you're using. So there you go. I now have. The, the spells add-on. I'm going to do the same for the flying mod. Manual, open it up. The, the flying mod v0.9, this is the data folder. Whatever you find meshes and scripts and the ESP, that is your data folder. So set data directory, flying mod beta, can leave that. And Gangnam style animation, double click to activate this one. Manual, this one is actually set up 
um, correct. And there you go, I have the mods installed. Obviously, if you are using some other mods, you will have those on your list as well. Now, the next thing we need to do is set up the Forest New Idols in Skyrim tool to work from Mod Organizer. This is very, very important. To do this, go along to the Configure Executables icon and click on it. And then we are going to want to change the name here. I'm going to change it to Venice for now. And you'll notice that this uh, button changes to Add. I'm going to change the executable to, well, it's already selected, generate finis for users.exe. But just in case you don't know where that is, I'm going to go up to my Skyrim folder. So this is my Skyrim folder, which is Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Skyrim. You need to go into Mod Organizer, Mods, and then find Finis New Idols in Skyrim, the main one. And you will find a Tools folder, and under there, Generate Finis for Users. And it's this one, Generate FNIS for Users.exe. Open this. So, I then click Add. Oh, make sure you do not have Close MO when started. You, you don't want Mod Organizer to close when you're running this tool. You want it to remain open. That's pretty important, so make sure it is not checked. And then hit Add. I will now have Finish on my list. Close. And then to run the program, simply select it in the drop-down menu and hit Run. Now, some of you may get an error now telling you you don't have the rights or uh, you know it doesn't have the permission to open this program. I'm going to exit this without doing anything. For now, create a program shortcut on your desktop. No, no thank you. So I have opened up an Explorer window under Windows and I'm in my Skyrim folder. And I'll go to Mod Organizer. Mods, and once again, find Finis, Forest New Idols in Skyrim, Tools, Generate Finis for Users. Now, some people are telling me all you need to do is right-click, run as administrator one time, click yes, and then close it, exit. Hit no again. And from now on, you will be able to run from Mod Organizer. I cannot say for sure if that is true. Um, the other way to do this is to right-click Generate Finish for Users.exe, go along to Properties, Compatibility, and Privilege Level, run this program as Administrator, Apply. And then hopefully every time this program is run, it is run with Administrator Privileges. Um, that should work if you are getting the permission denied. Okay, so assuming that you can now run Finish from Mod Organizer, the first time you run it, and this opens, immediately click Exit. Don't change anything, just immediately cl click Exit and hit Cancel. This creates a program shortcut on your desktop warning. You don't want to do that. You're going to do everything from Mod Organizer. If you click Cancel, it will not ask you again. Well, that's not actually true um, unless you do something first. So we're going to click Cancel. And you will immediately see a warning appear up here and it, it is basically telling me there are files in the overwrite mod. If I look in the overwrite mod and open it up, under tools generate finish for users, there is a now I don't ask again for link.txt. Uh, basically what I want to do is move this into um, the forest new idols in Skyrim. So I'm going to grab this and drag it across. I'm going to open this up. And hopefully now this file will be there. I can then go along to overwrite, double click on it again and delete everything so it's empty. And now when I run Forest New Idols in Skyrim and click exit again, I get no warning. So that just that just makes that warning go away. Otherwise, every time you close the, the program, you're going to need to click no, which can get aggravating. Okay, so now I've got Finis set up. I could also add a shortcut to my toolbar to make it a little bit more convenient. That way I can just click it from here, which is a little easier. I'm going to select the spells add-on for testing purposes and then click the Finis button. 
Now, you will have to check which of these options you're going to need. Check the documentation and select whatever you need. And once you've done that, you click Update for NIST Behavior. You let it do its thing. And once it has finished making the animations, just click Exit. Now, ordinarily, that would be it. But because we're using Mod Organizer, you have another step to perform. You will see up here, once again, we have a warning. There are potential problems with your setup. Click here and it will tell you there are files in your overwrite mod. These are the files that Finis has just created. If I double click here, you will see there are tools, scripts and meshes. I'm going to close that. Right click, create mod. Now I would recommend giving it a completely new name. In this case, I'm going to call it Finis and Finis test spells right so this is this is finis with just the test spells added it will move all of those into this mod i will then select this mod and it must come below the forest new idols in skyrim but i now have those spells added to this profile if i start my game i'll be able to see them in action and once in game it should have automatically equipped the spells, allowing you to choose whichever animation you want, and then activate <laughs> some silly dance. So, there I have the test spells installed, but of course, I'm going to want some other animation mods. How do I add those? Well, it depends on what you're going to do. So, for example, if I want to add the Gangnam style dance animation and I want that on my test setup, uh, what I do is I can activate it and move that up there and then I can run Finis again. This time it will detect the Gangnam style dance animations. There you go. And once again, I will have all of these files in the overwrite folder. Now, if I want to create a whole new mod, perhaps called Finis Test with Gangnam Style, I could actually just create a new mod. But if I want to only have one, the easiest thing to do, believe it or not, is to literally remove this mod, to just remove it. There you go. And now go along to the overwrite and create mod, and I'm going to call this Finis Dance plus Gangnam. Oh, hang. Oh, good grief. That with that. Little, uh, little unfortunate, wasn't it? Right. So there you go. Um, and I've now created this particular version. I then once again run the game. And I think the new dance animation is actually the first three. Oh, missed him. Yep, I believe that is the, the correct dance. Not that I'm an expert on this particular dance, but I do believe this is it. Yep, seems to be working. Okay, so I've got my dancing setup done, uh, but now I want flying, and I want this in my main game. So I'm going to deselect the Finnish Dance and Gangnam uh, files that I created, and also these two. And I'm going to select this time Flying Mod Beta. And I'm going to once again run Finis, let it do its thing, and then exit. And this time I'm going to create a mod from the files it created, and I'm actually going to call this Finis Generated Flying Mod um, Animations. Um, and then in brackets, I'm going to do flying mod beta. And I'm giving this a better name because this is something that perhaps is for my serious playthrough. And I can see that this belongs to the flying mod, the flying mod beta. I could have called it uh, the Skyrim Mod Sanctuary Profile Setup, or if I've got a setup for a spellcaster, perhaps I would call it my Finis spellcaster profile generated files. You give it a name that will allow you to identify it. 
And now, hopefully, all I have... I won't have any dance spells, so when I get in-game, I will not have those dance spells, but I will have the option to fly. Okay, so I no longer have any dance animations, and I do have a new flying tome. I used the console to get this so that I could... Uh, where is it? Was it called Tome of Flying or... Flying Tome! Use this to get the flying spell. So I cheated to get it. You, you, you're you supposed to buy it from a vendor. And then go along to the spells section. It's under power. Flying spell. Activate my power. And there you go! I am now flying! And that is basically it. I... What I will probably do if I was going to use this is have a variety of profiles. One for amusing animations and another for more serious animations. And I would probably keep them grouped together. So the fin Finis Dance plus Gangnam I would keep here. Um, so that I would remember that if I wanted this to be active, I would activate those and deactivate these. Do remember, if you've got generated files, if you've got generated files, don't have both selected at the same time. It might actually be a good idea to rename the mod as something like Finis Generated in capitals, like this, um, and make sure you only have one of these gen generated and only have one of these selected. So if you see Finish Generated, you should only have one selected. So that is now the dance animations. If I deselect those, now I've got the flying selected. So you can have lots of different profiles with lots of different animations. Um, and if you just want to uninstall them from your profile, simply deselect, run your game, and the animations will be, be, will be back to normal. That is actually a little easier than with Nexus Mod Manager because what you would have to do is remove these mods and then use Finis to regenerate the files back to normal and then usually have to go in and manually delete a few files as well. With Mod Organizer, you don't have to do that. Simply deselect them. Those files have gone. Simple as that. And one last little warning or reminder, before you run Finis, first of all, make sure you actually have Finis selected. If you don't have it selected and you run it, you will you'll get this warning. So make sure you have it selected and make sure you don't have a warning here and perhaps even double check, double click on overwrite, make sure you have no files here. You want this to be completely blank before you generate your new animations. But as you can see, it's actually quite easy to use for this with Mod Organizer and the uninstallation process is actually easier and safer. So if you did want to use for this, you were on the fence about it because you're using Mod Organizer, don't be. Okay guys, well that is about it for this video. I hope it was helpful and I hope it explained the salient details well enough. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I am already working on the next part of this video series and of course you are more than welcome to join me for that or any of the other videos that I am creating. I will look forward to seeing you guys on any of them. And uh, of course, until then, remember as always, have fun.